letters and words is something that we girls can't get enough of. Open the wardrobe and there has to be dress after dress after dress. And that's how we do it on Now You See It. To you. Welcome, welcome, big welcome to all of you around Australia. Nice to see your faces on the best show on television. So I'm biased. You get that when you're in a job, don't you? Listen, uh, guys, of course, tonight you're going to see, today I should say, this afternoon, you're going to see some friendly faces, faces you've seen before, because this is a repercharge round. Bringing back our top 16 runners up from our big boards game in previous games, and they said, so some guys and girls are going to get a second chance to make their way through to the big one, the grand final for the major prize, which happens to be a holiday for four people to Fiji with $2,000 spending money. Let's bring them on, Liz, and get this show on the road. Welcome back to a young lady who might have a few interesting questions for you, Scotty. She wants to be a psychiatrist. Welcome, Jessica Hears. And she's taking on a young guy who would love to hop in a plane and fly around the world. Welcome, Tim Inches. Jessica and Tim, nice to see your faces again. Glad to be back. Yep. Shouldn't be nervous or anything this time. It's all sort of second nature to you now, isn't it? Now, Jessica, you want to be a, a psychologist. You, how do you think you'd go with um, all the troubles I've got? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think you'd be there a while, actually. Now, you'd really like to do a bit of charity work, although you've done some charity work, haven't you? You've done the 40-hour famine you were saying before, and you're going to do that again, of course, Yeah. when it comes around next. Now, tell me a bit about it, because you can't eat for 40 hours, I know that much. Yeah, you can still drink and stuff. Oh, they, okay, so they do give you liquids and stuff, otherwise you'd probably your label, yeah. wouldn't it? The game would be over before you got started. And like, what do you do? Go around and get sponsors for that? Yeah. People sponsor you per hour or money per hour or something? I don't know. Then I, you'll find out anyway, won't you? Good luck to you on the show. Nice to see you again, Jessica. Tim, nice to see you back. Wants to be a money man. Yep. Want to be a lawyer, mate. Yeah. Want all the cash. Uh, definitely. They, they earn pretty good money, don't they? You reckon you could get up in the middle of a court, you know, take centre stage though and, you know, do what they do? Yeah. Yeah? I reckon it'd be pretty fun. Yeah? Want to give it a go now? I'm on trial. Can you help me? No. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I'll give you a few answers? No, we can't do that either. All right, um, listen, you know how the rules of this show run. Yep. Let's get into it and play our first line game. <laughs> All righty. The rules, which you guys know, and of course you guys at home know by now, on the screen we have a uh, line. I'm going to give you the clues and the word one letter at a time if you need it. One point for each correct answer. First seven comes back to the big board game. We all know how it goes, don't we? Let's do it. Good luck to both of you. Here is your first clue. A sea creature that soaks up water. Letter. Letter. Jessica. Jessica. Sponge. It is a sponge. She's off the mark. Good work. It's one to nil. A movement or action which helps to show what you mean. Letter. Tim. Tim. Signal. Signal. No, it's not what we're looking for. Free shot. Free letter for you, Jessica. Letter. I don't know what the like first that. letter okay. is. Hey, you don't know what the first letter is. Uh, if I told you, I might give it away. Out of time, both back in with this letter. Letter. Tim. Tim. Gesture. Gesture or gesture. Yep, you got it, mate. Off the mark, one apiece. To decorate with a design in relief. Letter. 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 Second last, letter. Can't give you any more than that. To decorate you. <coughs> Tell me, Tim. Rimboast. Rimboast? No, good to have a guess anyway. Free shot for you, Jessica. I can't give you another letter, though, because that would give the word away. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, neither do I. Hang on, I'll look down here. Emboss is what we're looking for. To decorate with the design in relief. Emboss, pretty hard one, wasn't it? New line, huh? Thank you. A Caribbean island and home of a famous bobsled team. <coughs> Tim. Jamaica. Jamaica was the one. Jessica knew that as well. Just missed out on the buzzer. Each of a pair of handheld pieces of wood clicked together by Spanish dancers. Tim. Clackers. Uh, clackers. Clackers. Cack, cack, clackers. <laughs> That's not what we're looking for, Tim. Free shot, free letter for you, oh. Jessica. Letter. I don't know. You don't know. Well, I can't give you the, uh, the answer, and I can't give you any points for that. Both back in with this letter, letter. Letter. 
Tim. Uh, Castanet. Castanet's the one we're looking for. There you go. Jessica knew that too after it came out. 3 1. An electrically powered passenger vehicle which runs on rails. Tim. Tim. Train. No, that's not the one we're after. Free shot and free letter for you, Jessica. Letter. Why do you give me these ones? I don't even know. <laughs> it's not that hard, this one. I'm electric. Well, you're both back in with this letter. Letter. <laughs> Second last letter. Very similar to a train. A lot of them in Melbourne and Adelaide. Used to have them in Sydney. Tim. Tram. Hooray! I can't give any more than that. <laughs> Tram is what we're looking for. New line, please. It's 4-1. This one's for you, Jessica. Okay. A pack of picture cards used in fortune telling. Letter. 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 Tim. Tim. Tarot. Tarot cards is what we're looking for. It's 5-1. Come on, Jessica. A rotating spit for barbecuing meat. Letter. 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 One more for good luck. Letter. Thank you. And I'll give you another one. It's the second last letter. A rotating spit for barbecuing meat is called... A rotisserie. Everyone's at home going, yeah, we know, we know, Scott. Enforced expulsion from a person's native land. Letter. 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 You would be in this if you're expulsed, expulsed, expulsed. If you were under expulsion from your country. Tim. Exile? Yes, exile's what we're looking for, 6 1. As we take a new line. All right, Tim, this one could get you through the big board game. Jessica, you have to stop him. Bit of a history question here. The name of the sword owned by King Arthur. Letter. 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 Can't give you any more. Think of a letter to put on the end of that. We could have had Excalibur. There you go. You've learned something today. Did you know that one? No, you do. King Arthur's sword was Excalibur. A hole or tunnel dug by a rabbit. Tim. Burrow. Burrow. It's all over. Have our first winners. Let's shake hands there. Good to see some sportsmanship by Tim and Jessica. There you go, Tim's coming back for the big board game. Jessica, I'm sorry to say, I gave you too many hard questions. I'm very sorry for that. Tim was just a bit too quick on the buzzer. But for coming in and seeing us again, we've got this prize for you. We have two caps. Firstly, we've got this FM radio cap. All you have to do is switch it on and groove away. And we also have for you a hoop hat. Now, this can be heaps of fun. You pop it on your head and try and get the balls into the hoop. In fact, Scott, try and catch that. Oh, he got all the Oh, you only got two. <laughs> And now you see it. Oh, Thanks, Luce. Play the game. Take the pain. There you go. Good on you, Tim. Thanks for coming in again, Jessica. Stay beautiful, all right? We're coming back to play our second line game. We'll see you then. Yoga. <laughs> Some superior race. Hey, Space Oddity, give us all a yoga back. No way. Banana breath.
thank you, Yo Gorilla, for bringing back all our yoga. Actually, there's uh, <laughs> not as much as we thought. You can be one of the first to catch the all-new Wizards of the Coast Legendary Bird Cards for the Pokemon Trading Card Game. Free with every admission, you can receive one of the three Legendary Bird Cards. Pokemon the Movie 2000. Yeah, no, I enjoy that. Good luck on the show and, oh, hang on, we're missing something. Welcome back to Nash. It's time to play our second line game. I need to fill those chairs. Luis, I'm going. Oh, you are weird. Let's welcome our next contestant. If he could be an animal, he'd be an eagle. It's Ian Frost. <laughs> and if our next contestant could be someone else, she'd be Leonardo DiCaprio's girlfriend for a day. It's Hayley Angel. <laughs> welcome back, Ian and Hayley. Nice to see your faces. How are you doing? Good. Cool? Yeah. Relaxed? Ready to go? Yep. Let's get straight into it. No, we should. of course we shouldn't. We're going to talk about um, our sort of favourite heroes, sporting heroes in this case. Ian, yours? Joe Moore. Why is this? Because uh, he's a top bowler. Apart from the obvious, I suppose he's a top bowler. You, what about his, like, his antics with his, you know, his bleached hair and yeah. his baked bean eating and stuff like that? You know, sort of following those footsteps. Are you going to get any bleach, bleaching done with your hair? No. Play a bit of cricket? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah? So you spin bowl as well? or No. No, like with pace? No. No? Just play just bat? Field. Good on you, mate. All right, Ian, nice to see you back here and good luck as uh, you take on Hayley. Nice to see you, Hayley. How are you feeling? Pretty good. That's good. Sporting heroes? Yeah, Pat Rafter. Pat Rafter, all right. Now, is it because of his tennis playing or of his good looks? Oh, a bit of both. A bit of both goes a long way. Hey, what about this ponytail thing he's got going, though? You think that's oh, cool or not? Good. Yeah? I'd like to get a big pair of scissors and just come and go, hey, Pat, look up there. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do it. Good luck in the show, Hayley. Nice Thank to see you, you again. Let's get into it. Let's play our second line game. You dudes know the rules, of course. On the screen, we have a line. I'm going to give you clues and the word one letter at a time, if you need it, which you probably won't, being such smart, smart people. And, uh, of course, one correct point for each correct answer. First to seven comes back to play uh, later on in the big board game. Good luck to you. Let's go for it, shall we? The name of the mountain range west of Sydney. Letter. Letter. Hayley. Hayley. It is the Blue Mountains, a lovely, lovely spot indeed. With the surname John, this English performer's real name is Reggie Dwight. Hayley. Hayley. Sorry. What'd you do? <laughs> no, you don't have the answer. Okay, free shot, free letter for you, Ian. A letter. Don't worry about that buzzer, just tell me. Uh, Elton. Elton John is the one we're looking for. Reggie Dwight, did you know that? There you go, old Reggie Dwight, Elton John. A metric unit of weight which equals 1,000 kilograms. Hayley. Hayley. A ton? A ton it is, definitely a ton. We're firing here, it's 2-1. The group with the hit song, I Want to Be the Only One. Letter. Someone in the audience likes that song. Letter. Yeah. Ian. Uh, the Eternals. The Eternals. I'll have to wait for the yes or no. We've given you that one, Eternal. Yep, they've given it to you, mate. Good works to all as we take a new line. The unit of measure for the depth of water equivalent to 1.8288 metres. B. E. Letter. Yeah. Ian. A uh, fathom. It is a fathom. Definitely is a fathom. I didn't know that. I just learned something. Did you, Harley? Good. Yeah. We both learned something about the metric depth of water. Bart Simpson's father. Yeah. Is Ian? Homer. Homie, you got it. Four two. A circle of constant longitude. A circle of constant longitude. Letter. 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 Second last letter. Time's up. Meridian is what we're looking for. Oh, it's not that sad. A foolish piece of behaviour. Letter. Letter. Yeah. Lisa's always up to this, Ian. An antic? Antic, yes, she is up to antics all the time. Five, two. Come on, Hayley, new line, please. A recurrent fever caused by a parasite transmitted by a mosquito. Hayley. Hayley. Ross River? Ross River. 
It is one, actually, but it's not the one we're looking for. Free shot, free letter for you, Ian Letter. Both back in with this one. Hayley. Letter. Sorry. Hayley. <laughs> Malaria. Malaria's one. She didn't need the letter, so that's fair enough. The tendon connecting the heel with the calf muscles. Letter. Yeah. Ian. Achilles. Achilles is the one we're looking for. Excellent stuff up to 6 3. Next one could get you to the board. big board game against Tim. Hayley. Let's stop him, huh? A portable insulated container for keeping food or drink. Yeah. Says Esky. And he's dead right. He's got the points. The boys are through today for the big board game. Good work, Ian. We'll see you in the big board game. Hayley, nice to see your face again anyway. Saw that Jessica picked up the hoop hat and the radio cap. Got that for you too, and nice to see you again. Take care, huh? We are coming back with a big board game and we will see your faces then. We know it. If you want a full-on day of full-on fun, get down to Puzzle Park at Murray Bridge. It's wicked, it's wild, it's fun for the whole family. Puzzle Park, just off the freeway at Murray Bridge for a full day of full-on fun. back on days like these as some of the happiest days of their lives and so will their kids so mcdonald's would like to thank the parents for making saturdays the best days ever explore the unknown witness the wonder experience the mystery of a place called galapagos IMAX takes you on an incredible 3D journey to the stunning Galapagos Islands. Watch it come alive on the giant IMAX screen. Galapagos in IMAX 3D. Now showing only at IMAX Adelaide. Rated G. When people don't want to be my friend and people call me a loser, that hurts my feelings. And that's why I like, love God. Of course, the guys here about to play the big board game and battle their way to this prize. How does this sound? Stepping off your Air Pacific aircraft and strolling along the rich sands of the South Pacific and staying at one of Fiji's most prestigious resorts, Castaway Island, for six nights. You think that's great? You'll also receive $2,000 spending money so you can buy all the grass skirts you want thanks to Castaway Island, Air Pacific, and now you see it. Oh, I'm just over there right now, saying myself, Yes, it is time, as I said, to welcome back our two players for the big board game. Please welcome back Ian and Tim. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, guys, ready for this one? All right, let's get straight into it. As I explain the rules, of course, which you already know, on the screen, a big board, heaps of words. I'll ask you the questions as normal. Don't give me the answer straight up. I need the line number followed by the position number, the first letter of the word. Give me a correct answer, and I'll give you the total points. Your score will be the total of the line and position number put together. Big points up for grabs here. This is it. One chance, one chance only for you guys. Good on you, Tim and Ian. Let's go for it. Camembert, cheddar and parmesan are all varieties of this. Yeah. Ian. Line four, position nine, cheese. You got the cheese, man. He's got the cheese. 13 nil at the moment. Good work. A plant grown for its strong flavoured oil used in confectionery, Tim. Line one, position seven, mint. Well, no, matey. That's not what we're looking for. Free shot for you, Ian, if you know it. Oh, Forget that buzzer. Um, line two, position eight, glucose. No, I have to let you know, guys. It's actually line one, 
Position one, peppermint. Halfway there, Tim. Sorry, mate, couldn't give it to you. A long, slender fish found in southern Australian waters. Long, slender fish found in southern Australian waters. Pretty popular fish down at the markets. Nice tasting. Line two, position five, ling. That's what we're looking for. Boys didn't know that one, did you? Ah, ling, very nice fish. <laughs> the device that exposes film in a camera. Yeah. Ian. Line three, position four, shutter. You got it. Shutter's on, we're looking for It's 20. Plays nil at this stage. A popular 1960s dance named after the movement of the body <coughs> while performing it, Tim. Line one, position one, peppermint twist. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> mate, I know I have sympathised for you because you're so on the right track, it's scary. Ian. Line one, position ten, twist. That's all we needed. Sorry, mate, I know he's saying a peppermint twist. That was a song, but not a dance. Well, there we go. Quick game's a good game today. 60 seconds left on the clock, guys, in the big board game. That's all right. It's only 31 to nil at this stage, Tim. Double points from now on in, so a big chance for you to catch up here. Easy does it. Good luck to you, and your time starts now. Your relatives or family. Or your next yeah. of... What, Ian? Line two, position one, Kim. That's the one we're looking for. Good work. An instructor or trainer in sport. Tim. Tim. Line four, position six, coach. That's the one, mate. Firing now. 20 points. Back in there. The name of a stage show with music by Andrew Lloyd Webber about feline creatures. Yeah. Ian. Line three, position one, cat. That's the one. Excellent show indeed. Good work. When something is new, we say it is in what condition? Yeah. Ian. Line one, position seven, mint. You've got it. Mint condition's the one we like. Sugar found in the blood. Yeah. Ian. Line two, position eight, glucose. Glucose is the one we're looking for. Excellent. 8120. A small ant like social insect. <coughs> Tim. Line three, position 11, mite. No, mate, it's not the one we're looking for. Free shot for you, Ian, if you think you know it. Destructive to timber. No time. Game's over. Termite is what we were looking for. It's all over there. Champion effort, 81 points. You're coming back for the solo game. The boys shake hands. Tim, nice to see you again. You got through your line game anyway, mate, and we've uh, got this great prize for you. Well, your hands and brain are going to be very busy with this prize pack. Firstly, we have a Rubik's snake. Try getting this one into shape. We also have for you a Robotech Mars cruiser. Now, this is going to be heaps of fun as you try and create the cruiser. And we also have an Oxford Dictionary board game, all about words and their meanings, from Crown and Andrews, and now you see it. All righty. Enjoy that, Tim. Nice to see you again, matey. Ian, champion so far, playing the solo game very shortly, um, but for winning so, this far, you've won this. Having trouble with your homework? Well, not anymore, <laughs> now that we have this set of Children's Encyclopedia Britannica. All the answers to your questions are sure to be in here, thanks to Encyclopedia Britannica, and now you see it. All right, excellent stuff. We are coming back to play the big one, the solo game. We'll see you soon. Here. I think I might stay, Dad. What do you mean you might stay? I think I need to get in touch with my venom inside. Smooth, creamy craft cheese spread. Any excuse will do. We'll follow that trail. What trail? Go for the action. Go for the adventure. Prepare yourself for battle. Go for the music. The Road to El Dorado. Now showing at cinemas everywhere. Pizza Hut Kids Works has frogs and snakes. Wiggle and jiggle and slither inside. A whale song. I know an amazing story about two children who fell off this very ship into the open mouth of a southern right whale. Inside the whale, they saw its backbone and its heart. They found things that the whale had swallowed. There were harpoons, mazes and even interactive games. The whale introduced the children to many of his friends who told their own myths and legends. Learn more about the fascinating world of whales at the Maritime Museum's new exhibit, A Whale of a Tale. No pressure at all, of course. 
Ian's ready for this one. Seven correct answers in 60 seconds in the bonus game, the solo game. Do you know what happens uh, if you give me seven correct? I win. <laughs> you do win, and you win this great prize. You win this package of CD-ROMs, starting with the balance of power, X-Wing versus TIE Fighter. We also have Tamagotchi, F1 Racing Simulator, Curse of Monkey Island, and Dreams to Reality, thanks to Metro Games, and now you see it. Short and sweet, Luke. We like that. Beautiful. What do you think, mate? Oh, you were ready to go over charge over and just take them straight up, Lisa, <laughs> weren't you? Well, you can't do it, matey. Here's the rules for you guys at home, of course, and for Ian, just in case he's forgotten. On the screen, big board, heaps of words in there. I'll give you the clues as normal. Grab your magic wand, circle that word, and yell out that word, okay? Seven in 60 seconds, correct? All right, the prize is yours. If you're worried about an answer, you're unsure, you can't see it, straight away, call pass. All right, because we've got 60 seconds. Time permitting, we'll come back to that end, at the end of it and give you another shot at it, all right? Huh? Ready for it, mate? Yep. Good luck, Ian. 60 seconds, seven correct, and your time starts now. Riding pants, which are tight below the knee. Pass. Dizziness caused by heights. Dizziness caused by heights. There you go. That's the one, mate. A thin, flat piece of plastic for plucking the strings of guitars. For strumming the strings, I might say. You can't pluck with one of these. Pass. OK. A wire device for straightening teeth. Brace. Good work. A, the traveller who found himself in Lilliput. Gulliver. That's the one. A metal wire punched into paper to hold it together. Staple. He's firing now. The edging to a street or raised footpath. Pass. The riding pants which are tight below the knee. For horse riding, that is, mate. Time's up, dude. Bad luck. But you've won today, see? So it's cool. You're coming back to play with us again. You got through the repertoire charges because you won today's you were today's round winner. Yeah. You're back to play with us again on Nancy. Did you know that? Yeah. No, you do. Oh, you knew it. He was, he was, that's why he was under control. All right, mate, of course, what we were looking for was Jodpers was the first one, riding pants which are tight below the knee. Jodpa. Z. A thin, flat piece of plastic for strumming the strings of guitar. Plectrum is what we were looking for there. And, of course, the edging to a street or raised footpath was the curb. You knew that, didn't you? Hey, guess what? We're going to go. Let's go. Peace, we're out of here. See you soon. <laughs> with All-American Fremantle International by Becker Entertainment for the Nine Network Australia.